Hello, welcome to Boho Punks. Me and a bunch of artists teamed up to brighten your summer with such artists as Dalian, Cute and Cursed, Blurred Colors Art, Nembulo Dolls, Myself, Electric Bunny VT, Stitchwick Creations, Rainstorm Creations, Summoning Dragon Illustrated, and Tella Dollies. We all chose a J fashion style and created a rainbow rendition. I chose Goro Kawaii, traditionally for grotesque and cute. So perfect for featuring uh, monster elements. Are you really surprised? I chose third generation Twyla for this creation. I start by wiping off her factory paint with 100 proof acetone and a cotton swab. Her hair was really soft, but it did have to go And in my haste, she endured an injury. Some nail glue and she'll be good as new. Removing her paint off her face and scalp, I am creating her face up using a watercolor pencil and pan pastels. I continue this until the doll is saturated to my liking. Here we go. The first layer of white base for her eyes and some blushing. I usually don't do as this much blushing, but I wanted it to be really heavy and cute and lively this time so that I can put a bunch of little neat highlights and really give a lot of depth. Because I really didn't plan out her face up, I decided as I was going what I wanted her to have as far as makeup. I know I wanted to do deep highlights, but as far as any alternative or uh, grotesque cute makeup goes, I wasn't sure yet, as you can tell from my concept art, but I really liked just doing, I think the randomness helped towards the grotesque. I gave her the condition polychoria. It's where two pupils develop in one eye at birth or later in life. I pictured her embracing being born different and gravitating towards a style that makes her feel more comfortable and extra cute. Instead of trying to hide where I sliced her forehead, I'm actually going to put it into the design by putting heavy blushing there and making it look like a grotesque scar. Happy accidents, I guess. I don't know why, but I absolutely love blushing the inside of ears and just the earlobe. I think it's so cute. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know in one instance where I got that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know where I got that from. I just saw it somewhere, I think in a drawing, and I was like, oh, I gotta put that on my dolls. It's so cute. I don't know why. It just makes the ears look cute. It might just be something I got from my dad. I have an obsession with ears. Let's play. Would you rather would you rather have your dream career with little money or a job you hate for endless fortune? Let me know in the comment section. I'm deciding to do this for the I'm thinking of doing this every video. I really love would you rather games, the red pill, blue pill. So you can look forward to that. If you enjoy my videos, make sure to like and subscribe and click the bell in the, for notifications. I use fabric markers to create a clean rainbow pleated skirt. I used Twyla's shirt to make her shirt pattern because we all know I'm horrible at those. I made the design and printed it on a t-shirt. I made this design and printed it on this t-shirt sheet, cut out the eyes individually and applied them with heat. 
The claws are all printed perfectly thanks to my Anycubic 3D printer. I removed the supports, cleaned it with rubbing alcohol, and finished curing it with a UV lamp. I'm using acrylic markers to paint the rainbow strips to keep the colors consistent. I stitched these little mittens off camera. I'm adding the claws and brushed out yarn in layers and then tr giving them a trim. I'm using these shoes I already made for my old project. I repeated the process I did on the gloves. I changed the eye color to these fun multicolored ones. They're so cute. I just want a pair, don't you? Now for her backpack. I'm using Frankie as a model. I'm, I'm freehanding these wings because I want them to look more organic. I made four and used Fabri-Tac glue to put the opposite sides together. I cut out a three-part eyeball pattern and layered them to my dis I used Fabri-Tac glue to put them to keep them in place while I draw in a rainbow pupil us using fabric markers. and a little embroidery thread to add white highlights. To make the straps, I hot glued 1 16th ribbon onto cardstock to keep them in place. I colored them the same as the pupil with the fabric markers. I took some scrap fabric and cardboard to create the compartment portion. I attached the wings to sandwich between the eyeball and the compartment. then the straps to the backing and the compartment. I originally used hot glue but decided to stitch them together for a cleaner look. I stuffed the bag so that it gives a bevel to the eyeball. I'm making her a choker from ribbon and attaching two pieces of chunky glitter by thread. I stitched her tights off camera and now I'm just adding some personality to them.
I decided to reroute her edges and part line very slowly and light pressure, doing a small twisting motion to get it through so I wouldn't mess up the paint. To seal it, I used Fabri-Tac glue on the inside of her head to combine the fibers. I made wefts with hot glue and baking paper. I'm using a beading needle and a thread to mimic Italian Renaissance taping hair or hair taping. I'm not sure how you say it. I use the fabric markers to color her hair with rainbow roots. To finish her hair off, To finish her hair off, I'm going to trim her flyaways and add beads at the, to the ends. My husband was so kind to solder a pair of earrings. We both seen how the last attempt uh, went with me trying to do it. So it was good to have his help. It's dress up time. It's the only good part of making removable clothes. It's the only benefit. It's the dress up part. Mm, so cute. Is it bad I want all her accessories? She just came out so adorable. I mean, I don't know if the shoes will look good in a big size, but man, I want a pair. I know they make something similar-ish with teeth, but I definitely want a pair. If you enjoy my videos, make sure to like and subscribe and click the bell in the, for notifications.
Also, let me know if you like these fashion dolls. I have a bunch that I do, but I don't tend to record and put up. But I can start doing that if you guys like. Thank you to all my new subscribers. You guys are awesome. This little ghoul will be for sale on my Etsy shop and my personal website. Unfortunately, YouTube took away the feature for me to put the links in my bio. So if you need my link tree, you can find it on any of my social medias or by Googling me by Boho Punks and all my stuff will come up easy peasy. Thank you. Sorry for the inconvenience. Love you guys. Make sure you check out all the other talented artists. They did an amazing job. Thank you for staying till the end. You guys are awesome.